surprised. I'll have you know. Of course. <laughs> hey, I talked about him yesterday. Yeah, right? I know, I know, I know. But, you know, it's just one of those things. That's why having tournaments all around the country is so great because, yeah. as we mentioned, Cyanide, not a player who travels as much, right? So we don't get to see him, but when we come into his neighborhood and then that's when these players get to shine. So having seen Cyanide play against f Champ with that very slow, cautious play, in a mix with all of a sudden bursts of complete randomness. Very difficult to predict, very hard to see coming ideas. That, the interplay between those two, as I said, is just really tough for opponents to deal with. And it can label, it can, it can result in being labeled random and silly, whatever. But you, I think you can see how strong it can be. Round one. Fight. And Alucard get his hand on that. Okay, nice start with him. Love the reaction. Cyanide already in the corner. Already in the corner. Ooh, and just a jump cross up there. Gets him out of the corner. I love the early Dragon Punch. Just remind Alucard, yo, this is what you gotta pay, pay attention to. Wow. Getting the link off of the really? overhead. Empty jump, low short gets the stun. Birdie with that 800 frame jump still managed to work out. <laughs> well, last time he got caught by the cross of jump strong. So maybe he was thinking about that a little bit too much. Nice. Uppercut. Gets it. Oh, oh, oh. Got the stare down. The standoff again. Appropriate that we get the standoff here in Texas. Coming in there, nice throw tech. Again, good reaction with the uppercut. Yeah, he was waiting for it. I feel that like it should be pretty hard for Birdie to jump. It's just such a long air animation. Corner now. Sina doing a great job of going back and forth, trying to pick his spot. I'm not sure what he's trying to range out. Maybe he was just supposed to be EX dive kick. I don't know. Oh, there it is, right there. Getting him with the EX Revenger. Oh, just wow. going right in with the armor. And you know Ken can punish that stuff. Oh, here, oh, here we though. go. Big damage in the EX. Oh, not quite enough. On the armor, I'll wake up again. Wow, they're both at no life. Both of them had their EX what? to take up the no life. And he then did two dashes. Why two? I don't know. Just the jump jab. But again, look, you're always thinking to yourself that Birdie, when he has no life, you're like, okay, time for me to push pressure on him. But you forget that his armor absorbs all those hits. He can't die when he absorbs armor. And his armor comes out on the first frame. It's such a good wake up move in those situations because you just forget. Obviously, as the game goes on, it will become something that we'll remember about him. But yeah. for now, it, of course, it's throwable. You can punish it. But, but yeah. Oh, interesting. Low gear, anti-air in the run. Oh, too far. That is really unfortunate for Alucard. Cyanide getting in there again. Oh, uh, there it is. Beautiful yes. timing on it. Air Hurricane. Round two. Fight. You're the one wanting to commit too much. All right, okay. using the soda can to get in. Start his offense. A little too far. Great punish. And just like that, we have the corner again in two hits. Oh no, letting him get away with the run cancels. Punish, yes! Not quite there. One more hit for stun. Super important for Alucard to get that. Ooh. Using the EX Fireball almost to keep him in block stun just to maintain the stun. Didn't quite have the V trigger for the cancel. Good game by Cyanide. Round one. Fight. So okay, very different start from Alucard. 
didn't work out as he intended, but it's important, I think, to establish that he's willing to do different stuff. Banana gone. Punish. And one thing I'll say about Sinai is I feel like he's getting all that he can out of those individual opportunities. Yeah. He, when he's punishing, it's not with light things. I feel like it's with the max damage right. a lot of the time. There you see again, another max damage punish. Leading into a B-skill throw. That always seems to be his follow-up, but it's worked so many times. Here comes Alucard, though, and this is Birdie! You see how much damage this guy does! Oh, right, gets oh no. Oh, oh no. yeah? Just Dragon Punch? What? Oh my god. Watch out for you. Oh, wait, super oh! oh! I can't believe it! He, you know what? Cyanide was looking for the exact same thing I was. I just talked about how good that EX armor was. And so Alucard was like, thanks for talking about that. Now I'm going to use EX throw instead. So there it is. There you go. Cyanide playing pretty slowly again. Oh no, what? I'm not sure what that was. Not a great read, I'll tell you. Oh. Ah! Okay, Alucard gets hit. In the corner now, has to try to battle. And just like that, that's over. So Banana's gonna safeguard Alucard for a little bit. Okay, got so away from it that time. Just at the last second though. Yeah. Oh, he's in there still? Again? So much damage off of that. Oh, fishing with that short hurricane as we've seen him do before. That's so good. Oh, no, 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 no. Not oh. when it hits like that. But there was no quick check. And the Alucard. Corner. Tons of damage. Wait. Quick up down. Medium kick. Oh, he's going to get. Wow. Interesting. Air hurricane. Not bad. Final round. Hmm. Fight. Yeah, usually in those air-to-air -air situations, you want to like go for a jump jab or something like that because it hits much faster. Wow! There's a little bit of that crazy that we said we saw from Cyanide that he tried on Filipino champ. It's gonna cost him in this game, though. Oh, no uppercut. Cyanide gets over with the EX Hurricane just to get out of there. Well, I still think that kind of stuff is is good for him to at least some degree. It, it can convince the opponent to sit still and to make some wrong decisions. Okay. Double juggle. Oh, already knocked down though. Ooh, really? Wake up back there. strong? Cyanide now pressuring. Still there. Chase down. Oh, but then that sand short check from Alucard. Alucard has been getting a lot of mileage out of just fishing with that stand short in defensive situations and then comboing into the jab and a headbutt. It's been happening a lot for him. And it's been paying off. A lot of people aren't getting him to hold that short a lot. No proper meaty time on, but then again, it might even just be that they're going for the throw mix-ups. Right. Good with punish, stand strong into headbutt, and now, oh wow, just a command throw on the whiff, uppercut, could have did more, but it's all good, he's got a lot of the momentum, look at him walking right behind the soda can. Wow, Alucard, what a corner control. Round two. Interesting. All right, so match point now for Alucard. Yeah, could this be the end of Cyanide's run? It's been a great run, but he's in top four. It's really interesting. I feel like every time we have a tournament where someone's making a great run, they always get they always get stopped at top four, at fourth place. Well, it gets pretty tough if you know yep. it's a competition once you get farther in. Lovely jump back jab, just in case. Has him in the corner now. Oh, oh, finally, finally the reaction. Yeah. That EX had been 100%. Ooh. Still has control, yes. Okay. Using the EX fireball as a mix up. And oh, again. went for it again. Wow. Again. 
Alucard with the trigger on deck. Can he? Oh wow, that's the great presence of mind to combo into the sand forward roundhouse target. Final round in the uppercut. Fight. Too far. Oh god, I think that was a true punish. All right. Gotta do it sometimes. Oh no, he went for a hard read. And it's gonna cost him a little bit, but coming right back. Banana and defending the turf around it. You know, I'm, I feel like Cyanide's starting to pick up a little bit of a beat on when Alucard wants to do some certain options. Jump, uh, EX Revenger, that kind of thing. And that's really helping him out. Oh no, and a neutral jump is gonna just cause a bunch of damage on that forward dash. Yeah, but look, V Trigger Birdie. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, Woo! he needed one, maybe two more hits. Yeah, I know. But. Didn't even, get it. Just even like a tiny hit and a command throw, and that would have been it. For sure. Birdie's EX command throw does so much damage in V-Trigger. All right, so we're now at 2-2. Two, two. Who's going to move on to face Knuckle Dew? Oh, I'm sorry. No, Justin and Knuckle Dew have not played yet, right? Oh, no, they did. Yeah, they did. They did. Okay, yeah. yeah, okay, okay. Knuckle Dew waiting in the finals. Right, right, right. So maybe Nikali now might be Alucard's choice. Hey, it is. Final game of the set. Either way. Can of course with Sai. Alucard going with Nikali. Some better defensive options Round as Nikali. One. You have a three frame jab. Fight. You have a dragon punch. Give out better mobility, but we didn't see the entire Dragon Punch there. Far. Nice whiff punish. Look at Psy right now. Again in there with medium. Oh, the jab! B trigger, the Nikali special, the classic. What a timing to bring that out. Ooh. Alucard, not punished. Alucard, now. Can he make this go. happen? He needs a couple more. No, back off. And right in with the run kit. And there is Sai. So he has match point of his own. It was match point Alucard in last game. And here's Sai now. One round away from losing finals. Interesting. Very patient style. <laughs> I think he was trying to react to that. but Yeah. I know it's a constant refrain, but it's pretty tough to react to things in this game. Here we go, already down Half-Life. Wake up uppercut from Psy. Gonna go for it. Oh, accidentally activated the the v, the, the kick off of the V-Skill. But he's got another chance. Is that stun? It is! Oh my god! He has beat trigger even. Will he cancel? Will he get that big, big damage? No, okay. But one more hit is all he needs to get into losing final. Oh, and he baits out the stand jab. Oh, hey, that's might it. Be it! That's it! That's it! Cyanide! Top three! Alucard is out! I mentioned. Cy from Texas. Yeah, I mentioned, like I said, those Cinderella.